All right, everybody. What we're gonna do today is put a cargo box on a 2021 Yamaha Grizzly Special Edition. Uh, this is from Yamaha itself. They're actually fitted specifically for these Grizzlies. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. You're gonna need a 12 meter meal meter socket. I'm gonna use an extension and a little bitty ratchet that we picked up from Napa. Main focus is to take your time with whatever you're doing. Make sure you can turn off all the power. But you just come over here and loosen this bolt. We're going to put an extension in this one. If it's the same as the back. Oh, that's going to be a, a fun one, I can already tell, guys. We're going to have to do some good old-fashioned roughhousing, I would imagine. All right, so once we got that done, we're going to take our bolt with this little spacer in there. It just kind of slides right in there and then this little spacer goes right there and we are going to have to try to get that to maneuver up in there but how are we going to do that all right that will move pretty easily all right, so that little spacer goes there. We put the other one down here too. Set the box directly over it. And this should go all the way down in there. Try to get started if you can. Put that in there. Tighten it down just a little bit. Come over to this side. And repeat the process. Get and give it a little wiggle. There we go. Got that started. an appointment on the all right let's get a little adapter we're gonna do a smaller extension just so we can get inside here once you get it in there just tighten it up Tightened up too tight yet because we still have to fit it. It's 20 degrees out right now, everybody. Then you have these two little brackets. Technically, you want to just reach around this little area, get one of the little bolts inside the bracket. And then you can just kind of line it up with the other one. And that's in there. Come around to this side. Put your hand underneath there. Line up the bracket with the bolt. And then come back to the back. The, the inside one's kind of, can't really see it that well. But it's not that bad, guys. All right. So that's in there. So now what we're going to do get it in there. I didn't use any Loctite or any of that stuff because I'm going to be removing these on and off. All right, we got that done. 
Then we're going to grab our little 10 millimeter. It should fit right in there. Now these brackets, they actually have a rubber thing on the bottom of it, so it creates a nice bond with the metal so it doesn't rip through. Alright, but this is going pretty good guys. Let me get this tightened up. This toolbox will actually be great. And I'll be able to put tents, cooking supplies, gloves, Got a nice seal around there too, so it's semi-waterproof. There's a plug in here also. But all in all, this thing goes together pretty quick. It has two cup holders. Just like the back one does. But check it out. That's it. That's basically how it works. It does come with an extra bolt. So if you want to mount something, I'll end up mounting these on the front. I just got to figure out how to mount these ones. I'll do a video on that. These are the Copelands. So that'll be for the, basically the crossbow or whatever else I might need. And then I won't be able to use the light on that, but that's not that bad. So I don't really mind that. And then we'll be installing a GoPro thing. Probably right about there. So I think the GoPro mount will actually work, but then everybody's going to get dizzy. So I think I'll probably mount it either right in the front would be a good spot. Technically, that is a great spot right there. Yeah, so we'll probably mount the GoPro right there. So yeah, that was pretty easy. I'll grab the camera so you guys can kind of get an idea. Got an extra bolt somewhere. Oh, that's from the Copeland. Uh, let me put my tools away. Remember, always put your tools away. 10 millimeter goes there. 12 millimeter goes there, extension goes there, I think I have a longer extension, get some extra bolts, yeah, what did we do with the long extension guys? It's in, Whew. I'll go right there, so that's basically it. Fits pretty good. Put so that in there for now. GoPro goes in here. Let's pick this up. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's got a little latch right here, another latch right there. Okay, cup holder. So if you're riding, you got your nice little cup holder. Got another cup holder right here. You can see the profile of it. I dig it. But yeah. It's got the logo. And the other logo. Here's what it looks like inside. You can actually stick your hand back in there. Drain plug, so if you got some water in there, you can drain anything out. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Not bad. Only took about five minutes to do completely. If you got any questions about it, let me know in the comments. I'll show you the back one also. Uh, I really do like these a lot. The back one's pretty good. Holds a lot. Got some mud. But yeah, 
check it out. It's got the trailer hitch too. But yeah, it holds a lot. It's got a Tilly kettle in there. Copeland's in there. It's got a saw. Fishing stuff. This is all from the hunting season. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got the locks there. These are not as tight as the other ones, but it's brand new, so you gotta dig it. It's got a locking thing. All in all, highly recommend it. Super cool. Looks nice, guys. Check it out. But thank you for watching. If you guys got any questions, man, let me know. Make sure you like it, subscribe, enjoy. Thank you. Get a good close up right there, huh?